All right, so I'm just going to make a quick program here to show you the data logging. So I'm just going to use acceleration. The strength is the setting for any direction, so it just senses movement any direction. I'm going to put a string in here to show something on the screen so that I know that it's working. So it's going to show me some acceleration numbers. And you can cue this up on like a button press. Uh, or whatever other sensor input you want to use. Uh, but for the ease of me gathering it, I'm going to put it in the forever string, so it's always gathering information. Then you go to your extensions, you download Data Logger. This works for V2 only, so it doesn't work on the Generation 1 micro bits. So, first thing you got to do is log data. And I'm just going to put that right in the forever string. I'm going to log my acceleration value. And then the only other thing you have to do is put in a set columns command. This usually I put in the on start, so it just sets your data column like titles. It'll register them without this, but it helps you organize stuff if you're gathering more than one type of information. And then I'm just going to put a pause in here. So I'm not gathering data every millisecond. I'm just taking a, a point every two seconds. So then I'm going to upload it to my micro bit. And the download can take a little bit. But then I shake my micro bit, get some sensor readings. And then when I plug my micro bit back in, if I click on this My Data tab, then the data that it gathered uh, shows up. And you can update the data in real time. That's still a little touchy sometimes. It works better if you plug it in, uh, take it out, plug it back in. Okay, so then this is going to show you how to do multiple data points of different values. So in this case, I'm just going to measure the X, Y, and Z in the accelerometer. But you could literally log data from every sensor on the micro bit all at once. Just making sure I add those extra columns in for the data gathering. Same thing, re-download, shake it around, then take it out, plug it back in, click on my data, and it gives me my XYZ data points. And it's that easy.